Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Well, as you can see in the thumbnail, today is all about flags. And uh, I'm going to show you the challenges I had when I made my flag poles that I have up in Northern Ontario. I've got four of them. If you want to put a link down below in the description box so you can see how I made them. And there's one thing that, well, I really didn't contemplate when I was buying flags. So I've got two here and I got two over there and I got four spots for four, four flags on the side of my shop. And uh, I'm going to bring you over to the bench here and I'm going to show you exactly the challenges you could face when you're buying flags and you want to mount them on a pole. Well, if you've only got one flag for one country, well, you're not going to have this problem. But if you've got four flags from four different countries, you're going to get four different designs. So let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about and how I'm going to fix that today. And this is an experiment. I've never tried it before, but we're going to start off here today in Southern Ontario. And we're going to finish this video up in Northern Ontario when I mount these flags and see if this idea actually works for me and will work for you. Okay, so let's start off with these two strips of uh, PVC and they're eight feet long. I just picked them up at Home Depot and uh, they're about like, I would say three eighths of an inch by about an inch and a half wide. And uh, I'll show you how that all goes together, but I just wanna show you two different flags. Now take a look where the, ring, the rings are stamped in and look at the width of the flag. I mean, these are supposed to be two exactly same flags. It's supposed to be three by five. And do you see any, anything wrong here? Well, I mean, the eyelets, you know, they're not the same. So I noticed that in a lot of flags, yeah, the eyelets are not the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over to this PVC piece. I'll bring it back and I'll show you how I'm going to do that, but I want to have it universal now so that whenever I buy a flag, it can go on my pole and it will attach half onto this side, half on the other side, and I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to mount these two here and show you what they look like because it's, you know, I'm thinking you're not too sure exactly what's going on here, but uh, well, you can pretty well guess this one. And uh, yeah, I'm going to attach it to here and on the other end here. So let's get to it and I'll bring you back when these are done. Okay, so I just thought I'd bring you back just to show you what I did to prep these. So I cut them all to 38 inches because, well, as you can see, yeah, like these, uh, these flags, I mean, they're putting the eyelets like wherever they want to, it seems like. And for a flag that's supposed to be three feet, well, some are not quite three feet, some are a little bit more, but, you know, so I, I put this to 38 inches, and all I've done was just, just take the edge off the ends here. I just put them on my belt sander, just take them off the end, and uh, that's it right there. So I'm going to bring it back, and uh, I'll show you exactly how these actually affix to here. And why I think this is going to be a better idea, like I said, I've never tried this yet, but to me, I think this is going to work out great. And uh, let's see how this goes. Well, this is the finished product. I'm going to show you in a second here what it all looks like. I'm going to bring you over to the, uh, the bench here. I'll show you how this went together. And maybe I'll give you a better idea, if you've never seen these flagpoles that I have, uh, how this is going to actually attach. So I just made up two, I'm going to make up the other two after, and then we're going to go back up to Northern Ontario and I'll show you these installed. But uh, let's go over to the bench and let's see how I actually mounted these. Okay, so let's take a look. So out of the uh, all the pieces, I got two little pieces left over like this, out of two eight footers. And yeah, I could have used uh, white zip ties, but I decided to go with the black just because they uh, they stand out nice, I think. And if we just turn it over, you could see exactly what I did here, right? I mean, that's pretty simple. Now, the only thing difference on the American flag is it did have uh, a, a spot here where you could put it in a pole. So I had to cut that out because it would have just hung over, right? 
So that'll be fine like that. And uh, so what I'm going to do is, all I have to do now is drill a hole that matches my flagpole exactly on this side and in this side and I'll attach it with a zip tie as well. And uh, these here are going to be a lot better. Now the whole idea behind this is when I had a, just attached with a zip tie onto my pole using these rings, what would happen all the time is the flag would flap, twist around the pole on one side from the bottom and it was just, well it just destroys the flags. So I thought I'd try this idea, I mean it's a low cost idea. Very simple to put a flag on and take it off with a zip tie. And this is PVC, it'll last forever. So what do you think? So let's, uh, let's go up Northern Ontario and let's see what they look like when they're installed. Well we're up in Northern Ontario and as you can see, them flags are just in horrible shape. I got uh, four brand new flags. I'm going to uh, take you in the shop. I'm going to pull one off. I'm going to attach the uh, the new uh, the new hack or the idea that I have that's going to fix this situation where the flags get all wrapped up and you know on the pole and just well you can see they just tear into each other right. So uh, let's go in the shop. I'm going to mount one and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Then I'll show you them all displayed and we're going to see whether this actually is a uh, an idea that maybe you could use. So let's go in the shop and let's see what one looks like when it's all finished. Okay, let's start off with the uh, the old style. And as you could see, it's just a zip tie tied to here. And it's meant to just rotate on that particular spot. And up here, the same thing. And the biggest problem with this idea that I found out was the bottom of the flag can rotate the bottom of this particular swivel here and swing around the other side and not affect the top. So it'll just wrap around itself and hopefully when I put this uh, PVC bar in there if this one here tries to turn and flip around the other way well it's got to take the top with it. And I think that's a best, I think that's a, well, a better idea than what I have right here where if you got a really windy day, it just uh, twists the flags around and destroys them. So let me mount the, uh, the PVC bar. I'll put a flags on there and we'll see how it looks. Well, we go five minutes later and it's all done. So as you could see, this will swivel and it'll take the bottom with the top all the time and I think I think this is going to be a much better deal yeah there's some slack in there but you want it to move right so there it is right there and uh, I think it's going to be a good idea so I'll finish the other ones up and I'll put them up on the uh, in their holders and I'll bring you back and uh, you let me know what you think. Well, there you go. She's all done. And uh, so if we take a look here, we got the Canadian flag, we got the American flag, we got the Irish flag, and we got a new one this year. Can anybody guess what that flag is? That's kind of covered a little bit, but you, you should be able to figure it out. So the wind's blowing pretty good here at this end of the camp. And uh, you could see how I think I, I think it's a good idea. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it kind of holds it off a bit. Lets them blow right straight sideways there. Well, so far so good. Well, thanks for joining me here up in Northern Ontario. And uh, leave me a comment down below. See if you can guess what the last flag on the end is. And. Uh, you know, coincidentally, I just change the flags up every once in a while, but uh, yeah, that's a, a terrific country, and uh, let's see how many people can guess the right, the right country. So, if you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe and come back again and see some new, 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 new unique ideas that I come up with that maybe you could use as well. Till next time, cheers.